when you look at our armed forces, our armed forces is a force for good. We are deployed across the country for a reason. And that reason is obvious to all, should be obvious to all, for the protection of our citizens and the restoration of peace where there is now. What we do in a situation where the extension is to de-escalate it. And when it has gone out of hand, we contain it to make sure it doesn't spread. So, what has happened in Delta must never repeat itself. And it is for that reason that we have put out this banner of eight persons, including a woman, as wanted persons. <coughs> We will do whatever it takes to get these people. If we need to put a bounty on their head, we will do that. Now, it will be recalled that we have been consistent in our saying that we will continue to hunt these terrorists and eliminate the threat that they pose to citizens. Overall, Citizens are urged to remember that they are our first line of intelligence. Accordingly, we all have a, res have a collective responsibility of doing right. Meantime, the defense headquarters has declared eight persons wanted in connection with the killing of the officers. The military authorities made the announcement in a post on X with a display of their photographs stating that they were prime suspects in the killing of the officers in Okoma community in Ugueli South local government area of the state. Well, Ruben Baru who is among the eight prime suspects connected with the killing of the soldiers in a viral video last week, accused Tom Polo of masterminding the attacks. This one, now be my last video, when I go do concerning this Okuama and Okoloba fight. Okuama and Okoloba, they get land issue. The land issue, small crisis called a day. Oh, now, nah, where be is your people? Where federal government give power to the bomb buckery, to the bomb dessert, and they cook? They use the same army they escort their own, they go sell. They betray their own blood. That man, he go use the army, carry people from Okwama community. Three people where they carry, they slaughter them. Now, they know they come back to come carry community leaders. And on I know very well, say, once the community leaders are captured, the youth are powerless. The action take place. On I they make comments, say, now peacekeeping, all those army come. Point of correction, no army come for peacekeeping. They they fight in favor of Tompolo, because Tompolo have ordered them to do so. When they say, make I show my face, all these on our comments, when are they comment, now just ordinary written. Now writing on just the right. If I know if you talk through for this is my land, you know get where I go go when I go talk through when I go believe him. Now this video will be the last video when I go do. All right, Ruben Baru there. Earlier this morning, Dr. Abati, I heard you saying you were scandalized by the fact that he bears the same name as you. Do But, you know, as always, they are still suspects at this point, and I'm, you know, happy that at least that there's some sort of, uh, you know, investigation already taking place for our 17 gallant soldiers who lost their lives unnecessarily. Well, uh, Ruben Baru said this is the last video he will make. I hope it's not that uh, uh, he's planning to, uh, you know, commit suicide <laughs> or, you know, uh, mm -hmm end up as a fugitive, but these are persons who have been declared wanted. Now, what the law says is that if you've been declared wanted, the sensible thing to do is to hand yourself over if you have nothing to hide. Yes. And if you have any information, it's not by running away from the law, 
is by, you know, going to the relevant authorities and assisting them. As I said earlier on this morning, a man is innocent until proven guilty. So whoever thinks that they are innocent should just go to the authorities having been declared wanted. And I hope that the same authorities that have declared them wanted will not play possum, that's go asleep, sleepwalk, until they also disappear like Anjawala, that uh, uh, Binance uh, director, mm. you know, to further ridicule the Nigerian state and the ineffectuality of the state. However, again, we commiserate with the uh, families of the uh, slain officers who were laid to rest uh, yesterday. And it's good to hear um, that the Nigerian state is not just honoring them, we have also been uh, reassured that the families will be given maximum support and that, uh, you know, their entitlements will be paid. In fact, uh, I think it was President Tinubu who said he was ordering the military authorities to ensure that all the entitlements of the affected soldiers will be paid within 90 days. Yeah. And I hope that nobody will disobey the commander in chief and come back to say, oh, we didn't get a lot from the Ministry of Finance or no provision uh, was made for this, for this. In the same manner, every other soldier who may have fallen, whether in the Boko Haram front or in any other theater or in any other theater of war, you know, the Nigerian government has an obligation to make sure that their entitlements are paid and that their widows and children are not subjected to unnecessary hardship. In this particular case, we understand that three of the, uh, 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 of the wives of the widows, you know, are heavy, uh, you yeah, know, uh, pregnant. they are pregnant. Mm -hmm. One four, four months, another one five months, another eight months. Now those children, when, uh, you know, uh, their mothers are delivered of them, they are coming to this world as fatherless children right. because their father, you know, served Nigeria. The uh, General Lagwaja said, 21 uh, orphans in total, 21 children have been rendered fatherless, plus the uh, three that we are expecting, that's 24. So it's not just that 17 persons have been killed, you know, 24 other Nigerians have been put in a very difficult circumstances. So we, we thank uh, President uh, yes. Tinubu for even saying that even those unborn children we also enjoy scholarship from the Nigerian state. Okay. It's not that this should be pronounced. We expect that the necessary mechanism will be put in place to ensure that the commander in chief's directive is carried out. And then beyond all of this, the president said houses will be given yes. to the affected families. Now, a word for the in-laws, because Nigerians are very funny people. Let no in-law come forward and say, oh, uh, it was my brother that died in Okwama. They cannot give his wife a house, uh, you know, in uh, all these widow with uh, problems that we have. The Nigerian military should take further step to support those women so that if any useless in-law shows up saying they are next of kin or they are uh, uncle or they are father, you know, those women, they, they, they need protection from these uh, problematic in-laws right. that we have in Nigeria. That's why the, the fact that in Mojoku versus uh, Mojoku, you know, the court of appeal had ruled that widows, women, have rights, even, you know, when their husbands have uh, departed. That's the other part of it that I think we should uh, point out. Well said, Dr. Abati. Thank you for highlighting that. I think Ruben, um, the, uh, Ruben Baru, I, I, I think Ruben, it's Ruben. showing, let's just leave him as the suspect, because yeah. I, I think it's showing a level of brazenness that uh, is concerning, that uh, our cybersecurity laws have become so lax that, you know, the other day we had a gentleman who was claiming to be uh, a terrorist or a bandit with money. Mm -hmm. People post such indicting yeah. videos freely mm -hmm. onto our internet yes. because they know that no Nobody is going to trace them or track them. He should be terrified to make this type of video. Right, let me let me just comment on that. He 
definitely is not terrified. And he said That's that he's I mean. bold because he said also that he's a son of a, you know, a military officer. And he's saying these things to protect his community. Apparently, he's been posting on social media before without, you know, his video. And that's why he said, you know, now you guys have seen my face. This is the last video. He's been documenting the process for a while. And now he's a oh, suspect. Then he should stop running. Yeah. Then he needs to hand himself over so right. he can share all of this right. valuable information right. that right. he has. Right. But this, this, this um, you know, trend we're seeing of uh, suspected criminals coming to social media to post, to flaunt, to whatever. Yes. No, 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 Absolutely. no. Absolutely. No. I agree with you. Like that. Dr. Abati had said, you know, I hope it, when he says this is the last video, he's not attempting to commit suicide. He should, like you said, turn himself in. And I think that's the appropriate thing to do. All right. As regards the soldiers that are killed, I commiseration goes as them, and the man that was making a lot of revelation, like we said before, that there's more than meets the eyes as there's regards to what, yeah. what happened. It's more a resource thing rather than a communal thing. And that's why we must look into the resource, the oil theft and the bunkering ecosystem in that yes. area, number one. Secondly, for those military officers, you know, we pay condolences to them. I hope the Nigerian state is able to, you know, create buffers for them and all of that. But it is also indicative that even in all of this, we all should be careful. Even the security authorities should be careful as regards this ecosystem. And the government should be careful. Elgin, I'm going to say something very pertinent. The government should remember that using non-state actors with hitherto past of illegality in the Niger Delta to secure national assets yeah. will have its own complications in the future. Very well said, Rufai.